In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the first playable world inside the Squad Boosters, which is the Green World. We're going to be taking a look at the characters you can unlock, the evolutions, their abilities, the playable modifiers, and also the available spells. So the first playable world in Squad Boosters is the Green World, and it's exactly how it sounds. Very green. It's like a grassed and wooded world that looks a bit like a forest. And from what I've seen, looks very cool indeed. So hats off to the design team. So moving on to the characters or squaddies, as I like to call them, that you can unlock from playing in the green world. Now, when you unlock a new unit, it starts off in baby form. And then you need to evolve it into the classic form and then the super form. And not only do they change in appearance, they also grow stronger with stronger abilities as well. The first up is the Baby Barbarian, a melee fight with good damage. Then when evolved the classic, he becomes an elite after bashing lots of baddies. And super goes elite instantly when with another Barbarian. Next up is the Baby Goblin who gives three coins because he's a supplier unit. And each unit has different classes, so do bear that in my my friends. Then a classic evolution, he increases the coins given to six. And at super fusion, Goblin gives a secret stash of 15 coins and i wish i had one of them in real life so i could get some coins to put in my bank account next up we have greg good old greg and he chops trees for loot a classic he chops trees twice as fast and that's super trees drop twice as much loot quite a handy unit to have inside of your squad moving on to colt who's another super familiar face he has a range fire with high damage a classic boosts four foes to fire bullet storm and that's super bullet storm deals much more damage and we have El Primo, who is the defender with tons of health, a great little tank to have inside your squad. Evolve the classic, you get the ability where you need to boost five fours to do a flying elbow drop. And super flying elbow drop deals more damage. And we have the chicken, and the baby chicken will give you one turbo boots to your team. Classic will spawn up to three hatchlings at a time. And super increases turbo boots, given up to two. Loki, one of my favorite squaddies. And we have Medic who is a healer and heals the whole squad over time and a classic throw strong heal packs when idle and it's super. Passive heal gets stronger and faster, another super useful unit to have inside of your squad. Moving on to Dynamite who tosses big explosions, in classic he will throw a second stick of dynamite and it's super. Dynamite gets a larger blast. We also have Hog Rider where grass gives a burst of turbo. Classic Evo, Turbo lasts longer, and Super Evo, Turbo recharges faster. We also have my favourite with the Witch who continuously spawns skeletons, and the Classic Evolution summons more skeletons, and at Super Evolutions, gives a skeleton battle spell, and she's absolutely OP. And another Supercell Classic with the Barb King, make sure melee units attack faster, and evolve the Classic occasionally pummels enemies with his Iron Fist, and at Super Evolution, recovers health when not attacking. And we can't have a Barb King without an Archer Queen. An Archer Queen makes your range units attack faster. A classic occasionally fires exploding arrows. And evolve the super, she also regens health when not attacking. That's all the characters you can unlock from playing through the green world. But as you play your matches, each game will be announced with modifiers. And these modifiers are really fun, and they are double trouble, which will double the characters you select from chess. So instead of one, you get two. Luke Goblin Rush and Luke Goblins are running all around the map. Taking out these goblins will gain you extra loot, but do be warned, they're quite hard to take out because they move pretty fast. We've also got Piñata Party and Loot Pack Piñatas are all over the map, which contain precious loot, so don't ignore them, my friends. And we've got Turbo Overload and Turbo Boots spawn everywhere on the map, meaning you basically don't run out of a Turbo Sprint. And we've got Tree Giants, which is my personal fave, and you tree bosses are walking around the map. If you take one down, you get a ton of loot, but be warned, they are really tough to take down and deal a ton of damage as well. And we've got Gem Overload and everything in the game mode drops gems. So make sure you attack everything for them extra gems. And we've got Fusion Start. And you simply start with a Fusion, which you usually get from acquiring three of the same character. And a Fusion is a much stronger character. And finally, Spell Overload. And super fun modifier, spells pop up everywhere around the map as you play for you guys to use. And speaking of spells, let's take a look at the available spells for you guys to use. First up, we've got the Heal spell, which heals your units for a short time and fusions heal more. And we've got the Rage spell, which makes your units hit much harder for a short period of time. And the Cannon, and deploys a Cannon to cover your squad and provoke monsters, and it's a really cool spell, this one. And we've also got the Lightning spell, which strikes up to three fours with powerful jolts of damage and fusions take more damage. We've also got the Freeze spell, which slows enemies to a crawl for a short time. And we've also got the Shrink spell, which is a super funny spell, and it shrinks enemies so you receive less damage. 
we've also got the furnace, which is my favorite spell. And you deploy a heavy furnace that floods the area with fire spirits that attack enemies. And when the spell runs out, a ton more of these fire spirits come out of the furnace. They're just the best spell by far, in my opinion. And we have the bomb and blow enemies away with this big bomb. And we also have the skeletons and toss a battle full of skellies that will attack your enemy, just like we've seen with the witch's ability. And finally, we've got the log, which fires a huge log out in front of you that knocks back and damages your enemies. Great against big, big groups of enemies, really useful. And that's everything you need to know about the green world in squad boosters, all the characters, spells, modifiers, all the good stuff. Subscribe if you want to stay up to date with more squad boosters videos.